Hello EOCians, welcome to the HODL EOS channel. In this one we are going to cover what to look for when using Scatter so you don't get scammed. Now we're going to start off with some basics and then at the end cover the most important one. So you're going to want to stick around to the end. If you do confirm the action we cover in the end from a scammer, you will lose access to your EOS account. So it's very important. But like I said, we're going to start off with the basics here. So here I am in my scatter and in the scatter pop up you get that allows you to allow or deny, accept or reject the transaction. And this is the transfer transaction. So EOS IO token transfer. The transfer is what you're looking for. And what this action is, is transferring tokens. From the account my scatter is connected to, HODL EOS voter, I am transferring 0.123 EOS to send EOS to Rob. So if you do get the scatter pop up with the transfer action and you are not wanting to transfer tokens, simply deny the action. That is one way scammers can get you to send them tokens without you knowing about it. But the nice thing about scatter is a pop up comes up telling you what's going on before you accept or reject the action going through. So if you think you're claiming an airdrop or something and the transfer comes up and you're not wanting to transfer tokens, you're not wanting to send tokens to somebody, deny that action. Now there is a caveat to this and this is with staking. So if we just use the HVT higher vibes staking as an example, this is what scatter looks like when the account HODL EOS voter is staking to HVT. What is happening here is my account, which is connected to Scatter, HODL EOS Voter, is staking to HVT, and that goes to the HVT staking IO contract. So there is that caveat there that if you are staking, the transfer is a normal action as seen with the HVT staking contract. So I am going to go ahead and stake these, so I'm going to click Allow. So if you are staking, you can see that transfer as you are transferring your tokens from your account to their staking contract. Let's get into the most important one. If you confirm this action from a scammer, you will lose access to your account. They will gain access to your account. All right, here it is. The update auth. So if you see update auth and you are not trying to change your keys for your EOS account, this is a clear action of a scammer trying to gain access to your account. You should only ever see the update auth here or in the sidebar here. Update auth. You should only see that if you are trying to change your keys for your account yourself. If you are not attempting to change your EOS keys, the keys associated with your EOS account, immediately deny this. They will say something like, you know, connect scatter and click the button to claim this airdrop or something like that but then when the scatter pop-up pops up it says update auth and people don't look at it they just click allow and what this is doing is changing the EOS keys attached to your EOS account right now to the hackers key so that means you will no longer be in control of your account the hacker with this key will be attached to your account so this is the most important one if you ever on Scatter see update auth and you are not the one trying to change your keys, immediately click deny. That is a hacker, a scammer trying to gain access to your account and lock you out of your account, giving everything in your account to them because they will now be the ones controlling the private keys to the account. And this is the main one to look out for. This is how we've seen multiple people's accounts get quote unquote hacked or scammers gain access to the account. This is how they do it. This is what you will see in Scatter, the update auth. So again, I can't stress this enough. If you ever in Scatter, in your Scatter pop-up, see update auth and you are not trying to update your keys yourself, click deny. That is someone trying to gain access your, to your account and lock you out. So there you go, guys. That's the main thing to look for when using Scatter so you don't get scammed, you don't lose access to your account. 
Uh, I've had comments on some of the videos saying people are afraid to claim an airdrop or use stake mine or something like that because they're afraid it could be a scam and a scammer's trying to hack them. Well, this is what you look for. The update auth is the big daddy, the one that if you see it in your scatter pop-up and you yourself are not trying to change your keys to a new key that you control, immediately hit that deny button because it is a hacker trying to gain access to your account. So I hope some of you out there find this helpful. If you do, drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell for more EOS and EOSIO related content. But that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.